Welcome to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Let's be great. Let's be great. Where we'll hang out and discuss all things fantasy football. Go rock this thing, huh? Love you, man. Go get it. We'll give our best fantasy advice, predictions, insights, and more. Play our game. All right? Play, Play hard, but stay poised. Get Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. The show starts with Devin, Rick, and Quinn right now. 23, 2, 1. Hello, first fans. It's quite the intro. I know. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, all right, we should do some ASMR or something. Hello, first fans. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> all right, what's up, first fans? Welcome to the show. Today we got some gifts and we got some coal. This is our version of Christmas with start and sits. Gifts are gonna bring your team joys in this championship round. And Cole is going to be like, hey, I made it all this way for you to suck for my team. You're a, you're a loser. You don't deserve nothing for Christmas. So, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We got Devin here. We don't got Rick. He's still off manscaping on his commercials. For manscaping <laughs> on his commercials. This will be edited. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we don't have Rick. He's out there making some big bucks for manscaping.com. Mm -hmm. uh, not sponsored. And neither is he. Anyway. So, we're going to get into these. Why don't you start us off with your gift at quarterback. Gift at quarterback. We got Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, nice Matt choice. Matt Ryan against Kansas City. Okay. Uh, it's, they have a very tough defense when it comes to the rushing quarterbacks. But against passing quarterbacks, they're actually a pretty soft defense. And Matt Ryan exploded last week. Now, I'm not going to use that as an example that he's going to explode this week. But... He is a passing quarterback, so I don't really expect him to be shut down at all this week. So I would definitely start Matt Ryan this week. Sounds good. My start is Jalen Hurts. Ooh. Yeah. Just like mine last week. Yeah. Yep. I watched that video. Yeah. I wasn't in it. <laughs> uh, he has been a beast since he started against the Saints. Mm -hmm. Great matchup against Dallas, and he should once again have a great day for fantasy for your team. Yep. And you're looking to win. And you want some player who's going to give you a win? Try this guy out. Who's got nothing to lose? Jalen Hurts has got something to prove. Yeah. He's either going to be a backup next year or he's going to be a starter. He's got to prove to be a starter next year. Yep. True. So, yeah, I definitely Let agree. me talk about my guy who's going to give you nothing but disappointment. It's going to be cold. Well, not nothing but disappointment, but I don't yeah. think he's going to do good this week. Which okay. is Josh Allen. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> you have Josh Allen? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Allen has been a fantasy god this year, but his lowest scoring output was New England week yeah. eight, only putting up 13 points, which is uh, not quality when you're in your championship. And you need to win your playoffs this week, so I'm not trusting him, you know? Yeah. You know, got anything to add on? Uh, well, I mean, if anybody knows how to defend Josh Allen, it's going to be Bill Belichick. Bill yeah. Belichick is definitely going to know how to defend him, and he definitely did earlier on in the season. I wouldn't expect more than 200 passing yards from the guy. Um, yeah, he's going to be pretty shut down this, this week. Pretty shut down. Pretty you heard shut it here, down. folks. Yeah. All right, on to our running back gifts. Why don't you running go first, again? Yeah. Uh, I got Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Mustache against boy. Against Houston, yep. Um, good. Yeah, I mean, it's a soft defense against the run. Houston's 31st ranked right now. And Joe Mixon's out. Uh, they also have a backup quarterback right now. Brandon Allen is questionable, so they don't know if he's going to play. But if it isn't Brandon Allen, then it's going to be Ryan Finley. And, I mean, it's pretty much either a backup quarterback or a backup to the backup. So yeah. I can expect him to lean on the running game a little bit and Giovanni Bernard to have a 20-plus point, 20-plus uh, fantasy point game this week. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm starting Antonio Gibson. Uh, he, Gibson suffered turf toe against Pittsburgh and has not played since. Okay. He had a chance to play last week, but he missed it. Now, they say that they want to get Gibson out to play this week. Uh, if he doesn't play, I'm starting J.D. McKissick. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are against the Panthers. I believe that Washington will be up in this one. 
and I this is a weak weak defense against the run and this is where Gibson excels is getting yards for that team for running uh, he he's pretty good at catching too he's got some some catches in his past but he excels yeah. in the run game yeah uh, what yeah I was, oh, yeah. I was green sorry yeah you're um, good when you, I, I can't hear because my ears plugged and sometimes I think he said something else. <laughs> but yeah, he's a great play this week if he's playing. If he's not, J.D. McKissick works perfect too. Nice. Yeah. You know what's so funny? I can't hear out of this ear and you can't hear out of that ear. <laughs> Shouldn't we have switched? <laughs> yeah, that would have been good, man. That would have been good, but uh, okay. life goes on. Yeah, well, Life does not go on, however, for Mike Davis yeah. as he's my sit this week. Ooh, he's your Cole. Yep, he's a, a Keelan Cole. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Keelan Cole. Uh, don't play him either. Uh, anyway, McCaffrey yeah. has a chance to play, but is listed as doubtful, mm -hmm. as y'all know. His time is best spent modeling. So if you got some money on that, good work. Uh, going against Washington defense. So I'm on the opposite side with this guy, saying he's a no-go. And uh, because Washington's been a great team against the run, I don't trust Davis in this one when he plays. And, of course, if McCaffrey plays, I... Also don't trust him as well as because you know he's doubtful, so mm -hmm. he could he has a chance of re-injury. But I'm against Mike Davis as well. Okay, no, I like it. Uh, I have Ezekiel Elliott two weeks in a row. Nice choice. Yeah, I mean Ezekiel Elliott has uh, sucked all year, but uh, not all year though. Oh well, not all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. recently after. You know, <laughs> yeah, recently. But um, yeah, I mean I I would sit Elliott for a different reason this week. Pollard went off last week. Mm -hmm. uh, I would expect a whole lot more attention with Pollard this week. I wouldn't worry about it next year, but I would probably worry about it this week and next week with Pollard getting a whole lot more attention. So does it just have to do with Elliot though? What? You wouldn't do it based on who starts? Because Elliot has a chance to not play. So if Pollard does play, would you sit him or start him? Oh, I would definitely start Pollard. If Elliot okay. is out, I would definitely start Pollard. Uh, but if Elliot is in, I don't know if I would play either one of them. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll start us off on wide receivers then with a gift. Okay. And what brings more gifts than the clown himself, Antonio Brown? He uh, he finally looked like the receiver we have all been missing Okay. Uh, these years. And I believe Tom Brady has a chance to put his best numbers of the season on this game as they are against the Lions. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so, in the, yeah, Saturday matchup as well. Expect Brown to be back out there and playing like the man we used to know. Expect him up there in targets, as he did leading targets with Gronkowski last week. Okay. I think everybody's going to get some love this game. Everybody? Everybody. Even for Ronald Jones? Even Ronald Jones. It's Christmas. <laughs> 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 All right, let's hear it. All right, my uh, wide receiver stardom is Jarvis Landry. Pretty nice easy choice. one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, going against the Jets, how could you not start him, you know? Uh, I give you reasons. Like what? It breaks his toe. It breaks everything. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it breaks angles. No. Mm. Um, <laughs> That's good. I mean, he's the, he's the top target uh, on the team right now. Uh, I would expect a whole lot of targets from him, a whole lot of touch. I mean, at least one touchdown from him. Mm -hmm. It's a soft... Soft, soft team they're going against. So yeah, yeah. Although that team did shut down the Rams. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was your morning game, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, who's your sit? My sit. Your Cole. Ah, it's gonna be Juju. Mister yeah. Mister Logo Dancer. Yeah, himself. I don't. I don't expect a whole lot from him this game. They're going against Indy right now. Uh, he's. I expect him to be covered by Xavier Rhodes. And Juju is the number one receiver on the team. I expect him to be covered by the number one cornerback. Uh, and Xavier Rhodes is known for shutting down receivers. Deontay Johnson has been exploding at targets right now. I, I expect that to continue. Uh, yeah, I don't expect a whole lot from Juju. Good stuff. I would sit him. Nice stuff. I am sitting DK Metcalf this week. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Last time they versed the Rams, no receiver did anything. Best was Lockett with 11 fantasy points, which yeah. is nothing to write home about. Uh, Metcalf was shut down. He had two catches for 28 yards, which is a whopping four fantasy points. And uh, <laughs> don't mind that. Um, 
Yeah, if we had okay. first half of season Wilson playing, I would start him for sure. But Wilson has also been not good in this season. And you want to win your fancy? Mm. Don't think this is the way to go. Don't think this is the way to go. Sorry, folks. Cry me a river. Metcalf fans. Okay, I will. <laughs> All right, I will start this off. Okay, tight ends. With tight ends, yep. Yeah. And end my ends. gift is Austin Hooper. Ooh. You know, like you said with Jarvis Landry, yeah. they're going against the Jets. The Jets have given up the most points to tight ends. Uh, they even gave Tyler Higby, who's been off the board forever, a great fantasy week. Uh, so yeah. Austin Hooper did score a touchdown last game too, which puts his fantasy points higher. Mm-hmm. I think that he's going to put some numbers up as the Browns do their wrecking. That's actually funny. I was actually thinking about Austin Hooper instead of this guy. Which is? But I like this guy better. Eric Ebron. Nice choice. Yeah, so sit Juju. Although Eric Eric Ebron Ebron might play, might not play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he is questionable right now. So uh, I would definitely watch for that. If Eric Ebron is playing, I would definitely play him. I mean, if he's not playing, Austin Hooper. Yeah, yeah. But Austin Hooper, even if he is playing. (laughs) All right, on to your Cole. My Cole? Uh, San Francisco tight ends. All of them. I would just bench them. Okay. Uh, if Kittle plays, which he's, he might play, but if he does, uh, he's coming back from injury. I don't really expect a whole lot from him this game. And if he doesn't play, it's going to be Jordan Reed, which Jordan Reed ha- has been averaging like five reception. I'm sorry, five targets per game lately. So not really fantasy relevant. So I just wouldn't, I wouldn't play any of them this week. Yeah, sounds sounds good. Yeah. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. All right. Uh, I'm sitting Dallas Goder. Okay. Or I guess I will go his route and say all tight ends on Philly. Yeah. Uh, Jalen Hurts is my start, mm-hmm. but you know he gets most of his points on running and on yep. throwing to wide receivers. Mm-hmm. Uh, he hasn't looked to the tight end and uh starts to worry you as you know that's what carson wentz would do he'd go tight end over wide receiver but jalen hurts looks to be the other way around and uh yeah so i'm definitely for the run game for the wide receivers for jalen hurts but no dallas godart and no zach Ertz. yeah not the tight ends yeah okay all right thanks for enjoying this video this is the championship week for most of you we will be coming out with another video next week for all those players who play to week 17 Mm -hmm. Uh, but this is your main week and you really want to win this one take our advice and let's get it done let's take the w's like james winston i i i eat those w's (laughs) those w's oh man james winston what a guy don't start him (laughs) um because he's on the bench (laughs) Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment down below. We'll answer those for you as soon as we can. First game's Friday, so get those questions in right away. Uh, we didn't have any Saints or Minnesota players, but if you have a struggle, an answer you need about that team, let us know. Mm-hmm. We'll definitely get those out for you. Yeah. Uh, if you want to leave a like, that would greatly be appreciative. It helps us and mm-hmm. shows us that you want more videos to be coming out for you. Uh, if you want to subscribe and click a, the bell icon, we wouldn't be against it, you know? Yeah. It's what we're here for. It helps us a lot. <laughs> yeah, it helps us a lot. It helps you a lot as well because you'll know when videos come out mm-hmm. and you'll win. Of course, it's the end of the season. It's about the time when, you know, fantasy football comes irrelevant. But we're going to be still posting on the off season, getting you ready for next season. Uh, hopefully it's a bit better one, you know, less yeah. COVID, COVID in that one yeah. for you. But, you know, we're fancy football first. We do this for you, not for us, for you. We want you to win. You want, we, we want you to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, Merry Christmas. Merry Hope Christmas. all your families out there are enjoying it. You know, if you want to, you know, tell tell Rick good job on those on those nut shaving commercials that he's posting out recently for manscaping, you know, let him know. But as as we do it here, remember to finish finish first. first. Thank you for listening to the Fantasy Football First dot com podcast. Jackson throws the plate. Crabtree has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at fantasyfootballfirst.com.